Well, it's time now for our health report. And joining us now is Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Mudu with new Ebola information from the WHO. Lino. Hello, Vince, and hello, everyone. The World Health Organization warns new cases of Ebola could hit 10,000 a week by December. There's a lot of information that suggests that... Um, Bruce Elwood, Assistant Director General of the World Health Organization, or, or issued a dire warning on Tuesday during a news conference in Geneva, saying the world is not doing enough to stop the spread of the Ebola outbreak. According to the WHO, there have now been 8,914 reported cases of Ebola, of whom 4,447 have died, almost all of them in West Africa. Among these cases, 16 have been treated outside Africa, 7 in the U.S., 3 in Spain, 1 in France, 1 in the U.K., 3 in Germany, and 1 in Norway. The U.N. body said on Tuesday that in two months' time, there could be up to 10,000 new Ebola cases per week. The WHO also said the fatality rate of the Ebola outbreak has now risen to 70%. Bring us live via Skype from Washington, D.C. For more on the subject is Daniel Epstein, WHO spokesperson in Washington. Mr. Epstein, welcome to the show. Thank you. Good afternoon. These numbers are troubling, really. We see that there seems to be an, uh, a commitment from the international community. But when we hear these statistics, it, it, it really raises a question, what is really being done on the ground, tangible actions. Are there anything that is, imp is there anything that is improving on the ground? A little bit. Uh, a lot is being done, and certainly people in WHO, in the health ministries, in the NGOs working there, are working day and night to try to uh, reduce the impact of this outbreak. But the reality is that we have thousands of cases, thousands of deaths, and we need much more international support to be able to get a grip on this outbreak. So when we talk about support, we hear so much about the need for resources, protective gears, and, and other uh, material. Can you tell us about what is needed, needed moving forward? Yes. Uh, WHO and the United Nations, organizations as a whole, estimated that we need about $988 million dollars to effectively mount this response. So far, we've only gotten about 37% of that. But what we really need on the ground are more medical workers. Our, uh, our officials say we need about 1,000 more international staff and about 20,000 health workers in Liberia, in Sierra Leone, and in Guinea to help isolate uh, Ebola cases treat the cases in Ebola treatment centers, and also we want to ensure that 70% of those who die from Ebola are safely buried. Unsafe burials have been a huge driver of this epidemic. So the, the goal now is within 60 days to isolate and treat 70% of all those people who have been infected with Ebola and safely bury 70% of those who have died. We think if we do that, we can start to bring the case numbers down. But we've seen how the, the extent to, to which uh, healthcare workers have been infected in, in Africa, as well as even in the United States. And it's disconcerting to see that in, in a country where the health system is so, so well organized and put together, uh, healthcare workers can be infected. So what are the steps? What is being done to protect these workers that are volunteering their time to ensure that this outbreak doesn't spread? Well, to do that, we have estimated that we need about 3 million suits, the personal protective equipment suits. We've already shipped about uh, 300,000. We're sending more every day to West Africa. We're training people in how to put them off, how to put them on and take them off. This is a very crucial step. If you have the personal protective equipment and don't know how to put it on and how to take it off correctly, you do face the risk of infection. So there's intensified training going on, and it's very unfortunate. Healthcare workers have suffered unduly from this outbreak. Uh, about 400 of them in West Africa have been infected, and 230 of them have died, including some of the most prominent doctors in Sierra Leone Indeed. and in Nigeria. Indeed. It's a very troubling. Well, Mr. Daniel Epstein, thank you so much for your time.
My pleasure. And that was Daniel Epstein, WHO spokesperson here in Washington, D.C., joining us via Skype. That's our Africa Health Report for today. Back to you, Vincent. Well, thanks a lot, Lino. Now, be sure to watch Lino Amadou's health reports every uh, Tuesday and Thursday right here on Africa 54.